Right, so the first thing that you want to be doing is pinning your pattern to your material. I have previously cut out this pattern and I did it by copying it off a, in a top which I knew would suffice for this jacket and I'm using this brown suede but it's completely up to you what type of fabric you use for your costume it's completely versatile so right now I'm just going to be pinning it down onto the fabric you need to make sure you have enough fabric for your costume and you need to make sure you have put down the seam allowance otherwise when you're sewing your garment will be smaller than you first intended then once you've pinned your pattern to the fabric you can cut it out and then you will have your sleeve or whichever piece of pattern that you put down first then you just need to repeat it for all your other patterns and then you can start sewing together So there the sleeve is done, well partially I just need to finish off the back and then I need to do the other sleeve which will be fun. Right so as you can see I've got the entire body bit finished and I need to add the collar so the way I'm going to do that is I've finished it off so it's just a plain rectangle and then I'm going to pin it in to play around the neckline. Now Merlin's collar is sort of shortens at the front however because of the way this material is I'm hoping it will lay kind of flattish so that it won't completely stick up but it will still have like the collared effect because if you look closely like during the show you will see that his uh, neckerchief is covered a bit at the back which is by the collar of the jacket which is quite handy now depending on what material you use will depend on how easy it is to bend round <laughs> the mannequin, well the jacket, because if you use a stiffer fabric like a pleather then it will be a lot harder for it to be moved and bend in certain ways because I found that out when I was doing my Flim Rider costume which is quite exciting. So I'll get back to you once I've finished pinning and sewing the collar on. So this is the final product and I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm really happy with the fabric choice because I feel like it mimics what the show was with like the texture. I'm also with happy with how the collar is because it's sort of, because I didn't cut size to make it smooth, it sort of folds over itself which gives like the right impression and then you may see that you can still see the seam here but when you have the neck scarf on then that hopefully wouldn't be seen. 
I've also left the main bit of the jacket open to give it more of a rugged feel because Merlin's a servant so he wouldn't have like fancy clothing like everyone else except from in that one episode and then I've also hemmed the sleeves to make sure that they're all even and round and I'm really happy with how this came out and I'm really happy that I had enough fabric to finish it because I had to get like the last bit of scraps that this guy had at a stall and I was really worried that there wouldn't be enough I had to like edit the pattern a bit in order to finish it but I'm really happy with how it came out stay tuned for videos on the shirt neckerchief and trousers and I'll see you all later mm -hmm.